All right, hi everyone. This is part two of my mini series of the behind the scenes of how I would find some writing jobs. So for part two, we are digging into these businesses for a writing job that I showed you in part one. In this series, I show you the behind the scenes of finding quality freelance writing jobs, pitching, and how to follow up. So in my first video, I showed you how I use LinkedIn to find potential freelance writing jobs. But in this video, I'll show you the next step. And this is how I dig into a business to see if they are a good fit for me. Some things that I'll try to find out are if they are on social media or if they have like a YouTube channel, if they update their social media frequently, especially on LinkedIn, and if they even have like an email list. These are things that I want to see because if they are pushing out a lot of content through email, blogs, YouTube channel, social media, then they need help. If I find a business that doesn't have a lot of these things, then they don't have the budget to pay a writer. For the most part, it's not necessarily true in all cases, but for the most part. All right, so through my search, I found more sites that I can look into. I have, I believe, five here, and there were a few other ones, but I'll leave that to my own personal time. But let's just look at these uh, sites. So the first one here is Email Tool Tester. There is Planable. I don't know if, I, if that was shown in the first video. And then Comey is for content creators. And then I believe I showed you Discover CX and Teal in my previous video. So we're gonna go through these to see if it's possible to be a writer for them. Now with Email Tool Tester, I like this company because they do talk about email marketing. And since I write for Beehive, which is an email service provider, I feel that this client would be a good fit for me if, you know, if I enjoy writing a lot about email. And, you know, so far I do, it's, it's not difficult for me. I also like how they have the pictures of the writers here, they also are vetted by their, I believe their editors or not here. And I see that they do talk about Beehive. So these things to me tell me that they are a potential client if they're looking for writers, right? If they need another writer, they do have a lot of people already, it looks like. There's a lot of different faces, a lot of different names here that I see. So they may not need another writer, but it's always worth a try, especially at this time of the year, the end of the year where, you know, companies are starting a new marketing strategy, perhaps wanting more content pushed out for the new year, things like that, where even if they just hire me for a couple of projects, I'm fine with that as well. So I can see here they are on TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So let's go to YouTube and see how big their audience are on YouTube. Okay, it's small and they published recently within the last couple of days, but they stopped three years ago and now they're back up. So three years ago, it looked like they were really into it. Lots of videos here, 52 videos, and now they're back at it again. So these are good signs for me to, to think about like, oh, okay, okay, where can I fit myself in here? Maybe they you know, need a YouTube script writer, perhaps. I can look into that as well as a blog writer, if they need help with that. So I need to find myself where I can fit in. And that is something where that could work. Let's look at their LinkedIn. All right, so if I go to post, I can see that they recently posted, which is a good sign. A lot of companies that I look for when I go and find them on LinkedIn, it was like six months ago when they updated their profile on LinkedIn. So if that's the case, then I know, well, then maybe I can help them with their LinkedIn you know, profile, like writing posts for that. But it's a little bit harder to find the right people to pitch to and to connect with if I can't say, oh, I love your post on LinkedIn the other day about such and such, right? So it's a little bit of a hassle for me when I when I know that they're not updating their LinkedIn profile in particular. All right, and then uh, TikTok and X or Twitter are probably the same as far as growth potential. So those are all good signs that I like about Email Tool Tester. Let's go to Planable, the next one, and let's just toot around their blog again to see what's going on here. Okay, so SEO agencies, alternatives for Buffer, Trello alternatives, managing Facebook, these are all topics that I can write about, that I'm confident in writing about, how to post multiple photos on LinkedIn. Um, these are like little tips and tricks for social media, it looks like. So I might want to not really say tips and tricks, but allude to, you know, doing, knowing certain features of certain tools kind of thing. Uh, strategies, strategies, growth tips. So growth strategy. 
I just have a notebook next to me that I'm writing these tips so I can remember for our next video when I start pitching to these companies, what I would be mentioning as a strength to help them with their content. And in that next video that I share with you, I might have to go back to these businesses just to get a better understanding. So this is just my initial footwork of these businesses. They're on Instagram. All right, 4,000 followers. I have about 4,000 followers myself. So fairly new. This is a new business. Nice. I like their post here. It looks great. And they're on YouTube as well. Let's see how big they are here. Okay, 1,000. So again, they're they're just, it looks like they're just starting this social media strategy. Yeah. These are all from four, three years ago, but it looks like they're putting a push about a year ago. It looks like here, lots of content here about a year ago. So all good signs that they need probably more content and how I can help them in that respect. Okay, good, good. Now Comey or Comey, it's for creators and they're only on LinkedIn and Instagram. So they're not on TikTok, which is interesting. A lot of creator businesses or the ones that cater to them are on TikTok. Okay, they have a huge following. This is the first business that has over like 10,000 followers on any platform. So that's good to know. And then they're on LinkedIn. We can check their LinkedIn profile two months ago. Okay, so not as popular on LinkedIn, but they seem to be thriving on Instagram. And that's something that I need to consider. Should I pitch them on Instagram rather than sending an email, for example, if they're more vocal and active on Instagram, that might be a path. So I'm gonna just put a note for this business that maybe use Instagram. And we can take a look at the blog just to make sure the content is what I can write. Common email marketing mistakes. So even email is here. A complete guide on how to monetize your content. That's up my alley. How to reach out and collab with brands. Something that I'm not familiar with, but I can learn. And it's something that I'm interested in. A list of tools. Okay, so, I mean, they don't have a lot. That was it. And then they have their interviews. So maybe this is a time to push for more content. So maybe I, I would come at the right time. Push for more content. Okay, and then we have Discover CX, which we looked into in the other video, but just as a heads up here, they do have some topics there. So they do talk about AI. Actually looking more into this, I don't know if this was a business that I wanted to write for because it's more technical. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna focus on this company. Okay, now with Teal, again, even though Teal is out of my wheelhouse, I still like, you know, I've, I've done cover letters and resumes. I've written about that and I can share that I've written about that topic, that I help other writers with their, you know, job prospecting and things like that. That That's something that I'm familiar with, that I use ChatGPT. I've used that for my business and how to streamline that. So that's that's good that I can find maybe ways. I like how they're, they have the picture again and they highlight the writers, very nice. And then they are on Instagram. Let's see how popular they are there. Okay, 8,000, they're, they're getting there. Good, so they're, they're good there. And they're on YouTube. Let's see how big their company is. Okay, 21,000, all right, good. So they're, they seem to be thriving on, on YouTube, it looks like. So 10 days ago, a lot 10 days ago, and then 11 days ago. So they publish small videos multiple times a day. So that's their strategy, it looks like, recently. Okay, and they're on TikTok and on LinkedIn. I do follow them on LinkedIn, so I know they're consistent on LinkedIn. Okay, so for tips here, they talk about resume, chat GPT, and let me see. Okay, high income skills, what... Career paths, interviews, job search, maybe under job search. Okay. So maybe finding topics about job sites, maybe more specific. These are just in general, but they might have like, I know Teal has their own job site. Then the, um, the tech job board. So maybe I can do one for like editing job sites or like certain other areas, maybe I can pitch something. I don't know, I'm just thinking right now how to stand out. 
Like this is a very generic one. Maybe I can break this down into something for some ideas. Okay, so everything looks good. All right, now in my next video, I will show you some aspects of of how I would pitch to these companies. But just a heads up, I'll probably have already pitched them when I do my video, just so that I can get a head start with these companies and see if I get any responses. Now, I don't know if I will or not, but as a heads up, I have been getting inquiries for jobs already. So this always happens to me when I tell the universe or when I tell everyone I'm out to do some job searching and finding a writing job, they always come to me. I always end up getting leads in my inbox that they want a writer. So that's interesting as well. All right. So if you haven't already watched the first video, make sure to watch the first video in this series. Otherwise, like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.